All right, hold on, guys. I got to turn on the light. All right, there we go, guys. Um, hopefully, you can still see me well. Um, it is G Swizzy Seventeen, your host of the G Swizzy podcast, and this is the second episode of it. And today, we are going to be talking about NASCAR playoff picks, right? So, round of sixteen eliminations. We got. I'm, I'm picking. Matt Benedetto, I'm sorry. Uh, Cole Custer, Austin Dillon, and William Byron. Hey, round of two exits. We got William. Bo- uh, no, not William Byron. Uh, who else? Uh, Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch. No, I just came from the NASCAR Weekly podcast, so I was watching them. Uh, Kurt Busch, Clint Boyer. Who else? Guys, I need to think for a little bit. Playoff drivers. Yeah, Ryan Blaney, actually. I think Ryan Blaney's going to be out. And I'm going to go with Kyle Busch. I'm going to go with Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch out. Not not going to do anything. No, no, not Kyle Busch. No, Kyle Busch is just done for that. Um, hello, Will. How are you doing? Uh, round of eight exits. So basically our championship four is going to be Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, and I'm going to go with Alex Bowman. He's been very strong all year. He won a race at Auto Club. He won an iRacing race at Talladega. And I think Alex Bowman's strong. I'm going to go with Alex Bowman for a championship pick. Uh, but the championship winner, and as as boring as it is to watch this guy win, it's got to be Kevin Harvick. He's he's dominated all year. He's so good on these tracks. He's really good at Phoenix. He's won there countless times. He's gonna he's gonna beat Denny Hamlin. I know Denny Hamlin won last year, but he's just. Kevin Harvick is just a dominant force to be reckoned with, and you can't you can't stop Kevin Harvick. But the win picks now this is going to be interesting because some of them you might not expect. But for Darlington, I'm going with Brad Keselowski, right? Richmond, probably Trix, and then Bristol. Actually, no for. Yeah, I don't think Matt DiBenedetto is going to win Bristol, um, unfortunately. I think Bristol is going to go to Kyle Busch, who will exit the next round. Um, next round picks, we got Las Vegas. Las Vegas. We For Las Vegas, who will win Las Vegas? How many times have I said Las Vegas? Um Las Vegas, uh, I'm going to have to go with, uh, who's it going to be? Uh, I'm start, I'm trying to think hard about this one. Uh, Las Vegas is going to go to Joey Logano. I think Joey Logano has got the speed to win Las Vegas, definitely. And yeah, Talladega. Now, that, now I know I always get on this guy. He's my favorite NASCAR driver, but he did so well at Talladega earlier this year. It's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He's a non-playoff driver, but he might win Talladega because, you know, Jamie McMurray wasn't a chase driver in 2013 and he won Talladega. So Ricky Stenhouse Jr. definitely has a shot at the win. Um, And then final race, Charlotte Roval. This one's going to go to Chase Elliott, I believe. Chase Elliott will win the Charlotte Roval. And like I said, Alex Bowman will be a Final Four. He will just knock on the door of these wins. And I mean that. He will just pound on that door of these wins. He, I don't think he'll get any wins, but I think he will work his way into the final championship four. 
Then for Kansas, I've got Kansas. I got <laughs> what am I saying? Kansas. I honestly Keslowski. Let's go with Keslowski. He won your last year. He's got a shot at it, definitely. Brad Keslowski wins Kansas. Um, Texas. Harvick, definitely. And then the last two spots. And then Martinsville, another non-playoff driver. Now, I'm not trying to jinx him. I'm not trying to jinx him. But Jimmy Johnson will win a Martinsville. for Last win of his career, Martinsville. And Denny Hamlin and Alex Bowman will make it in points. And then the Phoenix winner going to be Kevin Harvick. He's going to take on the championship, win his second championship. He's going to jump on his car, do a whole celebration with his team. And, you know, he's going to, he's probably going to dominate Phoenix. And no one really has a shot. And Hamlin might, but Harvick, it's all going to come down to Harvick, Hamlin, and that checkered flag that will fly for Kevin Harvick. And like I said, when Kevin, I never said this before in front of you guys, but I've said it to myself. If Kevin Harvick wins a race, you know it's a boring race. And even though it's the championship, it will be exciting. But in the end, it will all come down to Kevin Harvick snatching the checkered flag to get his second championship in the NASCAR Cup Series. Remember, he won one in 2014. He's going to win one in 2020. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, if you want to watch this video, I'll always have it on my YouTube channel. Um, so if you want to watch it then, go ahead. Um, but without further ado, 